What foods can you eat to keep your eyes healthy? If you're interested in finding out, keep watching. everyone, I am Dr. Rupa Wong, board certified ophthalmologist and mom to three kids. And on this channel, we talk about eye health, eye surgery, a little bit of eye makeup health, and my doctor mom life here in Hawaii. But today we're gonna to be talking about foods to keep your eyes healthy. Now, unfortunately, none of these foods are going to miraculously make you not need glasses or even prevent you from needing glasses. That's always the question that I get in my office. But they can maintain a baseline level of eye eye health and even prevent some eye disorders like cataracts and macular degeneration. So let's get to the list. First, a diet that's low in fat, high in fruits and vegetables and grains is always going to be the best option for you, for your whole body as well as your eyes. And that just makes good sense, right? They're heart healthy, they're brain healthy, and they're eye healthy. Basically because all of those foods, what they're going to do is just keep your arteries nice and open and help deliver oxygen either to your heart, to your brain, or your eyes. Your eyes actually have arteries. They're tiny, they're called arterioles, and they feed the blood supply and oxygen circulation to your retinas and your eyes. So it is really important to make sure you're starting with just a baseline level of good nutrition. So everyone always starts off with the carrots, with the orange, but I'm actually going to start off first with the green leafy vegetables because they might be even more important than those orange carrots we've all been hearing about. Green leafy vegetables like spinach and kale are high in lutein and zeaxanthin. These are nutrients which lower your risk of age-related macular degeneration. That's a condition which happens in your retina in the centermost aspect of your retina called the macula. It's what's responsible for your detailed central vision. If you get macular degeneration, oftentimes you'll see a big blind spot in the middle of your vision. Suffice to say, it's really important to protect that area and doing so with just a baseline of these nutrient rich types of vegetables, broccoli, peas, romaine lettuce, and even eggs are high in lutein and zeaxanthin, and so they can help prevent macular degeneration. You may have a grandparent that suffers from it. There are two different kinds. There's dry macular degeneration and wet macular degeneration. And though there is actually something that can be done about the wet, the wet form is when the blood vessels underneath the macula start to bleed and start to leak. And so now there are injections that you can get basically once a month. They're injections inside your eye, VEGF. They're basically anti-VEGF, which means they slow the growth of those blood vessels. But Obviously getting an injection is not ideal and typically the vision is not great. Now, unfortunately there is no treatment for dry macular degeneration at all. Usually we just have to offer patients, you know, special types of glasses and vision aids so that they can magnify things. But here's an opportunity with these green leafy vegetables to prevent macular degeneration even from occurring. So this is a win. You should totally just start incorporating these into your diet. I actually have a little garden out and surprisingly, even though I have no green thumb at all, I've been able to grow kale and a bunch of different kinds of lettuce. So I've been really proud of myself. No peas or broccoli yet, but a lot of lettuce. And so I use that, throw it in a salad, which I make for the kids. Yes, I put a ton of dressing on it so they'll eat it. And I put a lot of fruit. Our kids like fruit. So I put a ton of fruit into the green leafy vegetable salad, spinach. I had some strawberries, toasted sesame seeds, and you're done. Okay, next we're gonna get to the citrus. Citrus is of course high in vitamin C. Oranges, lemons, grapefruits, all of these are actually really fantastic for your eyes. Vitamin C is a great antioxidant and it helps prevent damage that might be occurring to your eyes from free radicals, whether in your environment or smoking or a number of things. It helps repair and grow new tissue. And what we found when we did this study called the Age-Related Eye Disease study AREDS is that vitamin C might actually be helpful at preventing cataracts and macular degeneration as well. So again, this is an easy one. My kids, you will find I have an entire fridge stocked with an entire bin of clementines and oranges because my kids go crazy for them. So that's a really nice, easy snack. It's something that's quick to incorporate into your diet and has a lot of eye healthy complications as well. All right, so I saved it for third, carrots. Yes, carrots. 
vitamin A, which is what's really important from carrots. Now, carrots are not the only thing that have vitamin A. And first, let's figure out why is vitamin A so important? Basically, carrots have beta carotene, of course, and that's a precursor to vitamin A. And your retina metabolizes a lot of this in its uh, retinal cells. It's also really good for the cornea and the mucous membranes of the eye. So the pink part of your eye called the conjunctiva. So the beta carotene gets converted into provitamin A, which then gets convert into retinol. That retinol is really important for maintaining the structural integrity of the retina. It also helps form the photosensitive pigments of the retina that initiate vision. But here's the thing, it's always carrots, right? Everybody always talks about carrots. And there's a little bit of a myth about how carrots are so great for your eyes and they're gonna improve your night vision. And this is where it got started because of those retinal pigment cells. But there are a lot of other fruits and vegetables that are even higher in beta carotene than carrots. Sweet potatoes, cantaloupe, and apricots. A sweet potato has 200% of the recommended daily amount of vitamin A. That's another one I actually just chop it up and I put a little bit of olive oil and some kosher salt and toss it in the air fryer. And that's super easy. You can even make sweet potato fries. Very easy way to incorporate some sweet potato into your diet. Oh, I love sweet potatoes and black bean quesadillas. Those are really good too. Okay. Moving on, vitamin E is another antioxidant that just keeps your eyes healthy and maintains the structural integrity. So things that are high in vitamin E include almonds, avocados, and sunflower seeds. And then the last two things, zinc. Zinc is a really great mineral for your eyes. And they found when they did that study I discussed, the ARED study, they included zinc in it. So zinc is really important at maintaining the integrity of the macula and making sure that you don't progress or worsen your macular degeneration. So what has zinc in it? Black eyed peas, I grew up in North Carolina, so there's a, some Southern food for you there. Lima beans, even things like oysters, lean red meat, kidney beans, and a lot of cereals have been fortified. We have an entire section of cereals in my pantry. My children eat cereal all the time. I am not a cereal person because I had to give it up when I had gestational diabetes, but cereals, a lot of them are fortified with zinc, so there is a plus side of eating some cereal. And then last is cold water fish. Obviously, if you were vegan or vegetarian, this is not going to apply to you. Living here, it's been really helpful because I love eating a ton of fish and we're basically pescatarian in my house just for health reasons, though I will eat a steak every now and then when I'm out and about. But omega-3 vitamins and the source of nutrition from cold water fish is really Really essential in just your health in general and specifically your eye health. It's great for regulating the tear film, for combating dry eye syndrome, and it might also help reduce the risk of eye disease later in life. Things like salmon, tuna, sardines, they all fall into this category. Unfortunately, a lot of the fish that's available here in Hawaii don't but we got a lot of tuna. It's called ahi out here. So all your poke bowls, that is all tuna. So that is a really good one to put into your diet. Hopefully you like fish because it's great for your eyes. So there you go. Eat a rainbow of fruits and vegetables and lean meats, not just the orange carrots. And you can see how each of them is going to benefit your eye, the different parts of your eye, and you can keep your eyes healthy. All right, this was fun. Next time I, I feel like I should do a cooking show. Anyway, if you guys have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. And if you wouldn't mind taking a moment just to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and it just helps me keep this content going. All right, until next time, I am Dr. Rupa. It was good to see you.